Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to review of Unstable, the second studio record by the new metal band Adima. Today we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the record so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple, I've stumbled upon their music back in the year 2008 when I was 10 years old because I've been searching for more new metal bands and I found out that the vocalist of this band, Mark Chavez or Chaves, is the half-brother of Jonathan Davis from Korn. The first thing that came to my mind back then was, were the songs Daddy and Kid You from Korn about Mark's mother, because she is John's stepmother and he hates her, so wow. Nice family issues there. This is the final release with the classic lineup, we've got Mark on the vocals, Tim and Mike on the guitars, Dave on the bass and Chris on the drums. The production was done by Howard Benson and it's tight, it's clean but heavy, no autos, no, no clipping, just the way I like it, message is diverse, the songs are mostly about personal struggles, relationship issues, stuff like that, lots of relationship issues. Structure of the tracks is basic standard intro, verse chorus, verse chorus, bridge chorus, outro, and the music is new metal mixed with post grunge. The overall sound of this record is much more mellow and melodic compared to their previous work. The album starts with the song Codependent and the first thing you're going to notice here is the drumming, it's there for the entire record. I truly enjoy Chris's groove, he has style, he has precision, he can play it fast, he can play it slow, he can even blast beat, wow, he's great. Next is the bass, it's audible, the bass is playing his own lines, I truly enjoy his output here. He enriches the overall sound of the band. Next is the guitar work and the guitar riffs on this record create that very mystical atmosphere. I truly enjoy the more chunkier riffs as well. You can still feel that this band had something special going on back then. And finally we have the vocals by Mark and he's straight up killing it. Sometimes he sounds exactly like Jonathan Davis. His singing, his screaming is just on point. I wish this record had more screaming because it's much more toned down compared to the previous one, but it's okay when the singing is as good as it is here. This opening song, Codependent, is one of the best tracks on the record, I truly enjoy the vocal performance here, the guitar work, the drumming, the screaming, the singing, it all works. The verses are pretty sweet and the chorus has that corn vibe, I truly enjoyed this one. 11 out of 10. Rip the heart out of me is another banger, it's not on the same level as Codependent but it's still very good. Both of the songs are talking about toxic relationships. I truly enjoy the vocal performance here, especially in the verses. The chorus, while it is energic, it's not as good as the verses, but I still love every segment of this track. 10 out of 10. Stand up. This song is about abuse, basically women being abused by toxic boyfriends. It's a message of empowerment. Mark wants the girl to stand up for herself and break up with the shit back. And it's a fine song. I love the chorus because it's very melodic and just powerful, but the verses, sometimes they sound funny to me. I don't know why. It just kinda sounds cheesy in some parts, but I truly enjoy this song as well. 9 out of 10. Unstable was released as a single with a music video, it's one of the most popular songs from Adima. I truly enjoy it, the verses slap, same as the chorus. It's not my favorite song on the record, but it's a classic one for sure. 10 out of 10, Promises, now this track reminds me of Three Days Grace, but back then Three Days Grace was just releasing their first record, so <laughs> I don't think that Adima ripped off Three Days Grace, I think it was the other way around. I love how laid back and melodic the verses are here and the chorus just straight up slaps. This song doesn't have any weak moments. And yet again the lyrics are about a failed relationship. 10 out of 10. Blame me. Yet again it's about a toxic relationship. I'm repeating myself a lot but that's just what the songs are about here mostly. Blame me is a banger. It's one of the better songs on the record. My favorite part is the chorus but the verses don't fall back that far behind, so 10 out of 10, so fortunate. Now finally we have a song about a different topic, it's about Mark loving his child, his son. It's a very positive sounding song, it reminds me of that dude from that movie Popstar, that one who sang the song I'm so humble at the start of the movie, it reminds me of him. This track is a banger, I love the chorus so much, it's just so melodic and so positive sounding. This track puts me in a great mood. What can I say, this is wholesome as fuck, 10 out of 10. Stressing out is another highlight of this record, I truly love this song, especially the chorus. It's kinda hilarious to me, stress me out, stress me out, <laughs> it has those kinds of vocals. 
I love the verses, the chorus, the bridge, it all works. 10 out of 10. Do You Hear Me is the weakest track on the record by far. I still love it, especially the chorus. The chorus is the best part about it. I wish the verses were more varied, but besides that, it's a fun song. The bridge also slaps. 9 out of 10. Let Go, now this one is my third least favorite song here, but I still dig it a lot. Especially the instrumental work in the verses. But the singing throughout the entire song is also very good, I just don't feel this one as much as the other tracks, 9 out of 10. Betrayed Me is another banger where both the verses and the chorus just slap so hard, I love this song. The lyrics yet again are about a betrayal in a relationship. And Let Go and Do You Hear Me and Stressing Out were also about a failed relationship. <laughs> Could you sing about something else for once? 10 out of 10. And the final song on the standard edition, Needles. Now this one is about addiction, either to drugs or maybe alcohol. It's a very dark song, it's the heaviest Adima track by far. This one is mostly screamed, it's not sang. There is some singing in the verses, but the chorus and the pre-chorus doesn't have any singing at all. And also the bridge in this song is just straight up death metal. We have fucking blast beats, the drum is like boo, 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 boo. the guitars are like boo. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Is this song from Slipknot Iowa? Because it sounds like that in the bridge. I love this song with all of my heart. It's my favorite Adima track because it's just so different from the entire record and just their discography. Like, would you expect this song? Especially when this album has tracks like So Far Tunet that are basically pop rock. And here, that's like a new death metal track. Here you go, it's needles. Problems, everybody, it's problems. <laughs> They're just screaming all the time. I love this song, I wish Adima had more tracks like this, so they could spice things up. 12 out of 10. The Japanese edition has one bonus track called Someone's a Slice, and this track is a banger. I have no idea why it wasn't featured on the standard edition. The lyrics are about someone who lied to your friend, now your friend thinks you're the liar and the relationship breaks down basically. Yet again it's about betrayal and getting stabbed in the back. And I enjoy this song, I love the lyrics, I love the vocals, the guitars, the drums, the bass. Why wasn't it on the album? It should have been even a single because it has that vibe to it. Like remove Do You Hear Me from the standard edition, put this song in and it's going to have a better flow. 10 out of 10. And now we have two songs that were recorded in the year 2002 for the EP, I forgot its name, was Insomniac's Dream. There's also one other song there, but it's from the sessions from the first record, so I'm leaving it for that review. These tracks are very nice, the first one is called Immortal, it was written for the video game Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, I've played that game, it's great. You could actually unlock the music video for it in the game. <laughs> Let's fight! <laughs> the verses here, the chorus, the bridge, it all works. This is one of the best Adima tracks. It's actually my second favorite one after Needles. The chorus is just so fucking good. I know who you are, the leader of Last Souls. You can't kill me, I'm immortal. I'm not afraid to die, my soul will travel on. You can't kill me, I'm immortal. You know, I cannot sing, but it goes like this, and I truly enjoy it. This is a masterpiece, 11 out of 10. It brings you back to those simpler times when everything was fun. And the final track, Natural, it's an Alice in Chains cover. I think the reason why it was recorded was because a few months before it, Lane Stacy passed away. So it's a tribute, and I must say that it sounds very good, it has more of a nu metal aesthetic than Grunge 1, and of course it's not as good as the original, but I still have to give them props for trying, because it's actually very good, I do enjoy it a lot. 9 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is fitting groupability, yeah, it's a masterpiece, I truly enjoyed this record from beginning to the end, it doesn't have any weak songs, the highlights here are... Well, almost every fucking song, Needles, Codependent, Unstable, Promises, Blaming, Stressing Out, So Far, Junet. Yeah, Someone Says Lies, Immortal. This record helped me actually get through some tough times last year when I was abused and raped by my ex and I wasn't happy and I would listen to this one 
because I was unstable and the record is quite unstable and it helped me get better. So I'm so fortunate for listening to this one. It's a great record. I don't feel like it's better than the first one, but it's better than the next ones for sure. Like, I wish Mark would come back to the band. Like, I don't know why they always go back to him and then they break up once again because Mark always quits. Why does he quit? Why can't they just get along? I don't know, it is what it is. Celebrate also by spinning this record today. It deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram in the description, and I will see you in my other videos. Bye! I'm so fortunate, so fortunate.